Top, top, top. Um, I guess we could we could talk about um what I did, you know, a little bit. What did you do? What I do? Um, okay. Um, I would say one of my uh, highlights of what I did was definitely the Nairobi National Park. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful park. My first time ever doing a safari. And a lot of people said, too, like the Nairobi National Park is a great kind of like starter game drive um, where it's like it's, it's not too overwhelming because, you know, a lot of times people, they go on these two, three day uh, safari drives mm-hmm. or uh, <laughs> where they, they they like stay on the fa- on the safari and, uh-huh. and and they and they drive it for a couple of days or they do it like a week long or something like that and you know Kenya has some of the best wildlife in the world um, which is all over and I got to do the Nairobi National Park and when I just tell you man like from the the air <laughs> the air quality I can't get over that good air. Um, you don't really appreciate you like what a you don't have. Water or something. Yeah, like, that's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's, over that good air. It was that good air, man. And um, also just being able to see all the animals in the natural habitat. I was like, I was like a dog hanging out the window. I was like on top of the ran- Land Rover the whole entire time, just like <laughs> looking out at everything, um, taking it all in, looking at the beautiful views, um, um, this, the, just the whole landscape. It was quite quite incredible and uh, I did something that I never thought I was ever going to do uh, I ain't going to lie I was very Caucasian like not Caucasian it was very Caucasian like uh, <laughs> and it's funny because even the Kenyan like even though they're Kenyan they're still black like you know what I mean like we, we relate on so many ways it's so crazy like how it works because it's just like I was talking to Kenyan, and you know we were talking about like how you know some people different ethnicity. They would like like to go out with the animals and do this and do that. And she was just like, "Yeah, that's some white people shit." <laughs> <laughs> like that's what we say too. That's crazy. Um, but anyway, shout out to um, my tour guide from the um, from the park. His name was Will. Great guy, and um, I felt safe with him. He actually lives on the park. He has oh, a house okay. there. And um, he actually has an Airbnb there as well, too. So oh. if you guys are ever interested in, like, staying on the safari and living <laughs> there, you can with him. And he got literally lions walking in his backyard. Like, literally. Like, That's crazy. He was just like, yeah, we had a lion uh, <laughs> in the kitchen last week. And <laughs> so, I love animals, but I don't like to. I like food. To keep being their place and not being yeah. my place, yeah. yeah. Um, so we had breakfast, right? Okay. He pulls up to this watering hole, you know, that's where animals like to go drink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he pulls up to this watering hole, he gets out of the car, and it was just like, All right, guys, he starts putting the food on the hood, and he's like, All right, guys, I want breakfast, and I'm like, You want me to get out this car? <laughs> 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 like, like, why there's like, you know animals out here like mm-hmm. real live animals out here he was like yeah you're fine you're fine uh, okay. and i did it y'all i got out the car and i ate how long did it take you to make your mind up <laughs> not that long this is okay. crazy like i don't know i thought i was gonna i didn't think i was gonna get out the car um in, in the middle of a safari where there's literally lions leopards cheetahs mm-hmm. <laughs> like right there um but yeah what did y'all see while y'all were eating um, while we're eating, no, nothing. Surprisingly, okay. there was there was no animals around while we were eating that I know of. Okay. <laughs> you know, they do they do really well at hiding. Okay. Um, but yeah, while we were eating, I didn't see anything. Um, got to see a lot of the animals that were there at the park. The only one that I did, the only two I did not see that I wish I did see, were cheetahs and leopards. I really wanted to see a cheetah and a leopard. Oh yeah, those are two I'm absolutely not trying to see. <laughs> really. No, nah, I really want to see They're beautiful. Them. I don't want to see one up close, though. Yeah. I don't like nothing fast. I just... Mm, <laughs> it's just so... It's too much. Yeah. Um, my birthday, when I went to uh, <laughs> Diany Beach, oh, what the comments saying? 
I think Congolese music had a huge impact on Kenya and other music. Um, he said, "Ah, uh, he he gave the wow. the wild breakfast." <laughs> That's scary for many people, yeah. And we got out again at Leopard Canyon. Um, you can go ahead and take a guess why they call it Leopard Canyon. <laughs> Did you get to see any? No. I really... You get to see no big cat. I saw a lion. I'm sorry, lion. I saw, I, saw, I saw a lion. They were sleeping, though. They, they, we had, and while they're sleeping, we're not supposed to be up close to them. So, mm-hmm. like, we had to keep... We had, we had to, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> we had to keep a distance. But, um, yeah, uh, I did get to see uh, two, two lions, which... I was I was happy about that. If I if I didn't see not one big cat, I might I might have I might have had a whole different experience. Like if you went to Africa and you didn't see a lion. <laughs> right, exactly. But um, yeah, no, I did see I did see two lions, so I was happy about that. Um, so I spent ha- the other half of my trip on the coast side. So I flew Safari Link to Diani Beach, where I stayed at a resort. Mm-hmm. Um, the resort was cool. Um, but then I was like, you know, I don't want to be on the resort the whole entire time. You know what I mean? I want to actually get out, get some culture and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, fr- like late that Thursday night, I booked the tour for Mombasa. And th- Mombasa to Diana Beach is about an hour drive. So, I, I literally booked it that night at midnight. The tour was at 9. I had to leave the resort by 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. to catch the ferry to go into Mombasa Island. I went to Fort Jesus, um, which is like a castle that was built by the Portuguese, then taken over by the Arabs, okay. which was then taken over by the British. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, a lot of history in that building. Um, I learned a lot there. It was, it was, it was incredible. Um, I didn't know that Swahili was the mixture of Arab and African. I had no idea that that's where that came from. Um, and just the the the, A, the Arabian impact of that side of Africa was pretty significant and, but also like they like hide it a lot. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They don't like to talk about how they did slavery and how brutal their slavery was and stuff like that to the African people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, after that, Got to explore Old Town Mombasa. Got to go down the streets, go to the fish market, go to the spice market. Um, that was lit. And um, got to go to Mama Gwimmy. Mama G- I always get the name mixed up. The waterfront where I got to like eat um, their local chips and crisps and coconuts and all that good stuff. Mm, I know it was good. It was fucking fire. <laughs> it was great. And the seafood, of course, was on point. Um, let's see. When I go to Kenya, I want you to come. Kenya, Kenyan living abroad. Yeah, it's like to, you know all the tea. Take me. Yeah, that that is that is dope, man. Yeah, he he he's definitely seems like he's well. He's definitely well averse. Top hill, top hill.